Hello, good evening. Um, right, well, first video of the year. It's a bit late, but you know. Um, so, Happy New Year to everybody. Hope you all had a good Christmas and whatever. Um, I've been very, very busy recently. Um, basically, what's happened is I've got to do up a house and it's going to end up with me and my other half living in there. So, of course, it wouldn't be my house if it wasn't full of technology. Because technology is fucking awesome. And, uh, yeah. You've got to over-engineer it, haven't you? You know, if you can over-engineer something, then why not? You know, I mean, a lot of this... This is for outside lighting, um, this controller. So, a lot of people have, you know, coach lanterns outside the front of their house and they've got uh, PIRs on them that just, you know, turn it on when somebody walks up. But that's not, you know, that's not very good, is it? This is um, this is made to be completely automatic. You, as soon as it's installed, you should never have to touch it again unless something breaks. Um, I'll go through the different components because I know it's not using exactly the right symbols and whatever whatever it doesn't matter to me um, if you want a copy of this feel free to either screenshot this or you know uh, there's a link down below somewhere um, but yeah either way this is how I've drawn it because it's primarily for me um, it's very simple you got your live neutral and earth coming in from your fuse board you got a, a DIN, rail mount, DIN rail mounted time clock with a normally open and normally closed contact, uh, a contactor with well, a two pole 230 volt contactor, uh, lamp one, two, and three. They're just going to be your outside lights, so they'll be um, you know like coach lanterns or bollards coming up your drive or whatever. Um, PIRs, they're obviously just your bug standard passive infrared detectors that you'd stick outside, and one photocell. Um, the PIRs can all be. Uh, parallel together and so can obviously the uh, lights but the cleverness lies in the time clock PIR and photocell because they all work together um, to control your lights automatically so what happens is say for example you set your time clock for between you know 4 p.m. and 10 p.m. Um, and then you know another timer from 4 a.m. till 8 a.m. or something like that so what will happen is, it comes to 4 o'clock, say for example it's 4 o'clock in summer. Your time clock will turn on, but your photo cell hasn't turned on yet, so it won't put your lights on. Because um, obviously it's not dark enough yet. <gasps> oh, excuse me. Um, whereas in the winter, um, if you put your, if the time clock comes on at 4 o'clock, hazard a guess that it's, you know, it's, it's going to be relatively dark. And your photocell might be activated, so it will put your lights on. But then, even though your photocell is still saying it's dark, when it reaches 10 o'clock at night, your time clock will turn off and turn your lights off. But when your time clock turns off, it doesn't turn off, it changes over. It changes over then to your PIRs. So what you get then is, if it's dark, and if it's within certain times, your lights will come on. Otherwise, it will work using your PIR sensors, and then it's if it's dark and if somebody's walking up the driveway. So that way it looks nice of a night time when it's dark and people are walking around and you know you're probably coming back from work. And apart from that, it's just working that you know all your lights are just working more as um, security lights, but they all work together. So that's what I was aiming for anyway. Um, I have gone over this circuit you know two or three times just to double triple check it and. Um, as far as I can see, it's all going to work lovely. Um, the only reason I've got a contactor in there, you, you don't have to have the contactor, but um, if you've got a, you know, an average size contactor would be, you know, 20 amp or so. If you've got a 20 amp contactor, uh, your time clock, photocell, and PIRs aren't really switching any load, so that's going to take the um, the strain off of all of those components then. Um, so if anything's likely to go, it's probably going to be your contactor at some point. But it, even then, you know, they last years and years and years because there's nothing to go wrong in them. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's as simple as that. Um, I just wondered if anybody else had got, you know, this sort of setup or, you know, anywhere near this sort of, you know. Because, I mean, I know people have photo cells 
and time clocks and PIRs, but I don't think I've ever seen it all put together into one uh, control circuit. And I think it's a very, very interesting idea. Um, bearing in mind, I have been an electrician for six years, and as I say, I've never seen it done. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Um, let me know if you see any hiccups that you can think of, because I would be interested to know. So, cheers, guys. Have a cracking new year, and um, I'll try and pump out some more, um, hopefully, interesting videos.